Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome back to another UFC 2 video. I'm bringing you guys the beta, man. A lot of people have been hitting me up telling me to drop videos, drop videos, drop videos. Well, check it out. We have another one. Now, check it out, guys. I'm going up against somebody named Player Name. This is a creative fighter for Ultimate Team Online, but I'm playing offline, which means I'm playing the single player championships. Now, let me give you guys some information on this. The way Ultimate Team is set up, you can fight online and offline, just like any other game with challenges and everything like that. But the difference with EA UFC 2 is that when you go into single player championships and you fight these random fighters, they actually are created fighters that actually fight online. They just are not controlled by their hosts nor can their host spectate while you're fighting they won't even know that you've even challenged their fighter and no they will not get a loss if their fighter loses you will just be awarded the win because this is only single player now when it comes to online that's a different story i'll show you guys online gameplay probably tomorrow what do you think about that maybe i'll drop a pack opening tomorrow afternoon and then i'll drop a gameplay at night how about a two a day y'all want you guys want to do some two a days i know people that work out know about them two a days so basically i'm going up against somebody named player name and um I guess when the guy created him, he just created him real quick and just wanted to get out there and fight. He didn't give a darn about nothing because this is a beta. Um, you don't have to be too technical like me. You know, I created game face scan and all this crazy stuff. Like, I, I went over the top. I went over the top with this creation, I will admit. But check it out, man. I'm 17 years old, young man. 17 years old. That's right. Your boy iPod is 17 out here, man. Uh, 6'1", 185, 74 reach. But um, the thing is... Reach cannot be changed um, individually. Your reach really comes out random. Like, I could be 6'3 with a 73 reach, and somebody could be 5'11 with a 75 reach. Like, uh, reach cannot be uh, changed individually. Like, how some people that play 2K know that you could change your wingspan. But, uh, yeah, um, one thing I will say about the computer, the computer is very easy to beat, but you cannot take them for granted because the computer kind of knows what you're going to do especially when you're in a clinch and when you're on the ground now right here i'm just throwing small punches you know uh using head movement trying to get a feel for the fighter now um when i'm online i wouldn't do this necessarily i would kind of wait for a fighter to bring out his best moves so i can know what to stay away from but uh, right here, I'm just throwing, you know, little uppercuts, you know, jabs, hooks, and stuff like that. I rarely use kicks against the computer, seeing as though sometimes if you use a kick, they might kick your leg, and then, you know, you're down on the ground, and that's not a fight that you want to fight if you're not experienced on the ground. Now, did you see me hit him in the nuts right there as he <laughs> as he came with the cut, <laughs> the kick? I, th I hit him in the, in the goddamn nuts, yo. <laughs> that's hilarious, but... You guys see that I can barely move because of my leg. He's been kicking my leg for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, my, my leg durability is not high at all. Remember, my fighter is only like a 60-something overall. Now, you guys can tell that this is literally my first match because it's giving me all the tutorials in-game. Now, that's one thing that I don't like about UFC. Um, I know it's something that you can change. You know, you can change the setting to, like, hard mode or something like that. But they kind of give you the tutorials every single time just because you haven't experienced it yet. Now, a lot of people in my last video were saying, oh, this is the same game. Um, it really looks the same. Uh, it's not too much that changed. Well, actually, there's a lot that has changed, and you guys will notice it once you get your hands on it. For a lot of people that say it looks the same, plays the same, that's for people that really don't play UFC. Like, for everybody that play UFC 1 that is in our Game, fe um, game Changers group, like, every time we went in, they was like, yo, I noticed this. Hey, I noticed that. And I'm like, these guys really know what they're talking about because I was, like, really noticing the same things, but I just wasn't saying anything because I wanted to, you know, get a feel for the group. Now, um, I am in a group with a lot of different guys. Um, I will say, like, they are definitely, like, some of the dopest gamers out there when it comes to UFC. And um, MMA game. He is a beast, yo. Like, he, yo, I think he trashed me, like, pr he probably beat me, like, 40 times, yo. Like, no lie. I don't even think I've beat MMA game once in UFC. Like, it, it's just that crazy. But right now, I'm in uh, top mount. Um, a lot of people 
have been having problems saying, hey, I can't get up from the ground. How do I get up? So this is how you get up. You have to block. Do you see what this fighter is doing right here? See that block? And then you see how like he throws me forward? Basically, it's a transition-based game. So when he throws me forward, he's supposed to try to go in and try to get me to half guard. But what he's actually doing is he's pushing me forward and I'm posturing up before he can even go into the next transition. Now, with that block that he just threw, he could have put me in half control. I mean, I'm sorry, half guard. Now, this is one thing that I will tell you guys. If you're on the ground, make sure you keep your hands up. For every time you block, you have the advancement for a transition. So... If I throw a, a hook or an elbow or something like that at you and you block it, you can immediately advance transition out of the top mount. Okay, do not feel like you cannot get up because I promise you, you can. A lot of people get scared when they get on the ground. They don't They don't want to play. They want to just be like, oh, man, this game is cheesy. Oh, oh, this game is butt. No, it's because you're being too overzealous. You're spamming buttons. And you know I'm saying you're gonna take that L. But check out that big kick right there. He's putting the shots on me, man. But I go for a single leg. Don't get it, but I do get my composure back right here. Now he's a bloody mess. And I'm the one that could potentially get knocked out here. But I take him back down to the ground. This is a ground game that I know I can win. And I'm just putting a beating on this guy. Now, I will tell you guys, the more blood that I see the more happy I get. So I just start throwing crazy shots, elbows, hooks, not giving a darn, yo, putting up the power shots. Now, one thing that I will say, I am a terrible manager of my stamina. When it comes to stamina in UFC, I'm like one of those guys that swings for the fences and don't give a care in the world. I'm the guy that says I have 100 stamina from the get-go, like, like, as soon as I create my fighter, my, my creative fighter has 100 stamina, and I don't care what nobody say. Like, look at me, still throwing shots, don't got my stamina right. Now, the first round is almost over, and he didn't go down, so this dude's creative fighter, whoever he is, has a lot of heart, because I'm hitting him with bombs, yo. I think I hit him with, like, two kitchen sinks, four refrigerators, uh, some carpet, some drywall. I might have dropped the ceiling on his head, and I think I might have, like, I would say Chris Benoit jumped off the roof head buttoning, him, but he still ain't go down. So we're in the corner. I'm looking a little puffy, but uh, we're about to start this second round. Now, um, if there's anything that you guys need me to answer for you guys in the comment section, please leave a question below. I cannot stress that enough. I am one of those guys that is here to help the gamers and the casual gamers to actually want to play UFC. Like... I really want to see how many people I can get to play this game. As of right now, I know my boy Regular Dave 2975 um, has the beta, and he's playing it. Um, me and him are going to challenge each other uh, probably tonight after we stream some 2K. But uh, look at the shots that I'm hitting this guy with. I'm hitting him with combos, everything like that, and he's just not getting red at all. And I like the head movement. Um, one thing that I will say about this computer um, he's not pairing as much as like I'm used to like I'm used to like computers pairing like almost every shot And that's why I go in for a lot of clinches and stuff like that But I'm hitting him with so many combos and I finally see red and I finally see blood and uh-oh It's time to finish the fight and hit him with that one two boom boom bam bam Hold up y'all gonna have to check that replay man y'all gonna have to check that replay it was a combo, but for a minute, I hesitated, and then I just had to hit him with the cross, man. Had to hit him with the cross. It looked like I almost broke his neck, but hey, sometimes that's how it is. Boop! That straight laid him out, yo. Straight up. Now, just imagine if he would have got lifted up from the uppercut that I previously thrown and then hit him with a straight. I think he would have ended up outside the octagon. Like, that was a good-ass block that he had on the uppercut. But, boo! <laughs> he went and go night-night. <laughs> hey, man. What can I say, man? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a UFC god, yo. Okay, I'm lying. But, uh, official decision is that your boy has won out here in these streets. I feel like both his eyes should be puffy. It is what it is, though. But um, I do want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed this EA Sports UFC 2 beta video. 
um i will be dropping more videos like i told you guys in the beginning of this video um if you guys want to check out any of my previous ufc 2 videos i do have a playlist on my channel that you can check out after this video goes off um one thing that i do want to stress please like this video and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe what can it hurt we are on the road to 400,000 subscribers and i can't wait till we hit that mark once we hit 400k i'm gonna do a big giveaway get it 400k giveaway Ooh, hot fire but this is your boy ikc signing out i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next ufc 2 video oh p.s don't forget every monday at 6 p.m we stream live on my youtube channel nba 2k16 you are the reason. Peace, y'all. Yeah.